you're a founder-led company. First and foremost, though, now you're a CEO. And as time has gone on, you've really had to become a proper CEO. Like a lot of people watching, reading, or listening might have the title CEO, but they're not really doing the role of a CEO. It's more the role of a founder. So I'm curious to hear, what do you see is required as a CEO to really steer the ship and lead this company? And what are your thoughts about leadership and developing as a CEO? You know, this is all through my perspective of what's worked well for me. My advice to anyone is always figure out what works best for you, but it's always useful to hear examples, anecdotes, and then decide if it resonates or not. Um, for me, I really subscribe to, to servant leadership as a model. I think that stems in particular from having parents who are teachers and, and service mindset is a value at Gusta that we deeply, deeply emphasize this idea of uh, enabling, empowering, being of service to others. And I view that as the core of leadership, frankly. Um, another thing I would say is uh, I joke my job is to keep firing myself from as many jobs as I can. You know, I used to be our first salesperson and lead parts of our sales team. I used to lead parts of our marketing team. I used to lead a lot of different teams at Gusto. We now have incredible leaders in each of those areas. And so what's left is you know, really two things in my opinion. One, team building. A huge percentage of my time is spent really trying to figure out how can I both enable the team around me, the leaders that we brought in, and or make decisions around changing leaders in the company. Uh, and I really enjoy that. I didn't know if I would you know, 10 years ago, but that ability to unlock someone's potential and kind of make sure that alignment is there and then see amazing stuff happen without my involvement, I just really, really enjoy. And I would encourage someone who's perhaps going down this path to, to consider, does that give them energy or does it take energy? Because it does become a huge, huge part of the job. Um, second big bucket is when we have moments related to planning where there's really important decisions to make around strategy or direction. You know, ultimately I am the steward of that and making sure we can live up to our long-term potential. Um, but beyond those two hats, you know, I hope to mostly just be available to teams, join AMAs, join Q and A's, you know, break all the myths that a CEO is somehow this person on high issuing edicts. You know, I'm at the bottom of the org chart. I'm here to go serve people. And, and that's where I like to be. Hey, Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.